Sump pumps are very important to have, especially in the Midwest during the springtime, because we get an excess amount of rain. Uh, there's a lot of homes in our area that benefit from having a sump pump to direct that water outside of the house, further away. Routine maintenance should be done on a sump pump at least once a year. I suggest twice a year. The first things that I would be looking at is my pit clean. I want to make sure that there is no debris, no leaves, nothing like that inside of the pit. It should absolutely be cleaned out. That is also something that a homeowner can maintain themselves if they want to reach down in the sump pump pit and clean it all out. The next thing I would be looking for is where is my float? Because that's actually how you test the sump pump. I'm going to engage this sump pump float and get it to discharge. So when you reach down inside of the sump pump pit, you will want to pull up on the float. You should hear a click. That will engage the sump pump and have it shoot out water. Make sure that you hear the water being expelled through the home via the discharge pipe. If for some reason you engage the float and you don't hear a noise, that's caused to call a service professional. Make sure that we come out and diagnose if the sump pump has gone bad. Typically sump pumps are housed in the basement. Um, you got spiders, creepy crawlers down there. I understand why not every homeowner would want to stick their hand inside the pit in order to engage the float. So another way that you can engage the sump pump or make it turn on is by pouring water into the pit. Typically you'll need one, maybe two, five gallon buckets of water in order to reach the height that the float would need in order to engage itself. Uh, after you pour enough water into the pit, the float should engage and that water should go out of the discharge pipe. One thing that could be cause for alarm for homeowners is if they do test their sump pump and they find that there is water shooting out in their sump pump pit on the sides or possibly in some cases shooting up. That's a necessary thing for a sump pump to have. It's called a weep hole. Uh, what the weep hole does is it eliminates the airlock, which happens in a pipe. It allows the excess water to not get locked like water would in a straw if you were to hold your finger over it. It allows that water to drain back out so your sump pump doesn't seize. You wanna make sure and check the fittings on the check valve. Fittings, make sure that they're nice and tight. Make sure that nothing's loose. If any of these fittings are loose at any given point, the water will no longer go outside of the home. It will go inside of the basement which would be a blood. I would go outside and see where your sump pump discharges. Does it discharge directly into the, the, into the yard or does it discharge underground? In that case, it is definitely time to call a service professional to try and protect the life of that sump pump and put an air gap outside. In the case of a discharge line freeze in the winter, that water will still have some place to go and not shoot back into the bed. Reasons to call a service professional, especially in a sump pump situation, is if any of these fittings have come loose, if, there's, if the sump pump is humming, making a really, really loud buzzing noise, if your sump pump runs continuously, uh, if your sump pump pit is warm or hot, you should definitely call a service professional. Also, if your sump pump has just not been working at all and you have a flooded sump pump pit, you should absolutely call a service professional.